Hey gorgeous ladies and to a few of those guys who are listening out there, today's video is one of those videos that is paramount for you to watch if getting the love you want is on your to-do list in life and not just any kind of relationship, a sexy, united, happy relationship. The reason why this is so darn important is dating is no longer as it was. The landscape has drastically changed, mostly for the better, and yet it's also creating some problems that you must be 100% aware of if you actually want to get off the dating treadmill and find a devoted and committed partner. So stay with me as what I'm about to share is finding true love, compatible love gold. I'm Nadine Piet, a dating and lasting attraction coach for smart, savvy women and the founder of Healthy You, Healthy Love. Now before we continue, please be sure to comment below and let me know if there's anything specific that you'd like help with and if there's a topic you'd like me to do a video on. I want to find out who you are and what your needs are so I can support you on your path to big, sexy love. And when it comes to this topic, if there's anything you'd like to share, please comment below. So let's get into it. Here are the key dating traits every human, man or woman, must master if they want to find love in this modern world of dating. Number one, dating and technology. If you weren't fickle and picky before online dating and online apps became popular, then chances are you've become picky or pickier. There is nothing wrong with being picky as long as you don't outpick yourself. The grass is greener syndrome has escalated to new heights, so being mindful Mindful of this is paramount. So rather than jumping from man to man to find the perfect man, and I hate to tell you this, there is no such thing as the perfect man, I suggest you see if he's perfect for you. If he has the traits you require for a compatible connection, and this doesn't happen overnight. Which leads to my next point, number two, make peace with the unknown. Your biggest friend when dating is being okay, not knowing what's going to happen. Because the unknown in life is both a beautiful mystery and can also create anxiety for many. It's like a double-edged sword. When we don't know what will eventuate and happen in life, it can feel really scary for some. This feeling of lack of control, lack of certainty can be overwhelming, particularly when matters of the heart are at stake and made even more intense when we act actually like someone when our emotions are invested. This is why in the first two months of dating, your emotions are heightened. You're so in lust and you're also comparing this guy to all your past failed relationships. You don't want to waste your time. You don't want to get hurt. And if you're thinking about him too, you don't want to waste his time either. God forbid you spend another two months with someone who's not right for you. But the big truth here is, You've just got to make peace with not knowing what will happen. To find love, you have to find peace with the discomfort of uncertainty. To help you with this, I have a brilliant free quiz that reveals if your love life is being railroaded by what I call one of the four romantic love blocks. If you're intrigued, then check out the link below to the quiz and find out if you're experiencing one of these blocks and what to do about it so that you can drastically up your chances of finding finding real love. The link is in the description below. The next point is judgmental. He's judging you just as much as you're judging him, so don't outjudge yourselves. If he's not as tall as you would like or as handsome, unless he turns you off completely, go on another date. If you expect sparks to fly instantly, then you're in trouble. Real love isn't that simple. Not all relationships start with intense desire and wild attraction, so give the guy a chance. If he seems kind, interested in you and interesting, then why not get to know him more? If he talks too much on the first date, know that this can be nerves and not a representation of who this man actually is. Unless he does something that is 100% a deal breaker, then get to know him a little more. Don't throw the baby out with the bath water. Next point is expecting too much too soon. You'll find love when you ease up on expectations. I want you to have standards. I want you to be with a man who is kind, mindful, invested in you, and also don't expect him to do 
everything perfectly from the get-go. A man who's capable of partnership will work with you. He will want to make you happy just as much as you want to make him happy. I'm not saying you're responsible for each other's happiness and yet you know that actions have impact and you're both willing to be great partners in life. So don't expect him to read your mind or not upset you. If he's willing to work at these things, then that's what matters. If you expect too much too soon, you could be making assumptions that are incorrect. As I said above, don't throw the baby out with the bathwater. Next point, attraction is not compatibility. Dating becomes highly unfulfilling and deeply emotional when we attach ourselves to men who are not good for us. Hooking yourself to the wrong men is terribly common. And just because you get tingling in your body when you see him that you perceive as chemistry does not mean that he's your guy. So many women don't find true love because they're sniffing in the wrong places. If you want a raspberry custard tart, don't go to the butcher to find it. It won't be there. If you want to be with a man who can do commitment and partnership, then shop in this store. Don't shop in the store that only offers one night stands, booty calls, or one-sided relationships. The next point, the last man standing, not. When you realize that you're hooked to the wrong man for you, know that this man is not the last man standing. If it doesn't work out, your love life is not doomed. It's okay, relationships fail until they don't. Learn the lesson, be grateful for the experience, and attract the kind of man you want. As I said earlier, start shopping in the right store. The next point is trust that the universe has your back. This may sound a bit woo woo, but hey, trust that if something doesn't work out, it's okay. You are not put on this planet to find a man or one man. Really, life is not that linear. Much of the pressure we feel to find love comes from social conditioning. There are no rules in life that say you must find a life partner to be happy. Sure, you'd like to find a special man, but this has nothing to do with your lovability, success, and value as a woman. So don't buy into that BS. Trust that life is working out perfectly for you. The next point is love forever. Never stop loving you and your life and never stop believing in romantic love. Know that a big part of loving yourself is recognizing what is no longer serving you. This means while dating, always be open to learning about yourself and the ways you date and relate to men so finding love gets easier and easier. Loving you is having the courage to look at how you do you. So there you have it, the eight ways to finally get the love you want. This is one of those videos I recommend you watch weekly, if not daily, when you're dating. The moral of the above points is slow down, be gentle, ease on the judgments and know what you value so you can find a man who values what you value in a romantic relationship. In fact, in my program, Unlock His Heart, I have a powerful and love-changing exercise called the Fear Clash that explains our fear-based expectations and how to dissolve them so you can invite sexy love into your life. Check out the link for Unlock His Heart below in the description. Well, that's it for today. Please comment below and let me know if this video has helped you to clear up the difference between realistic and unrealistic expectations. Of course, if you think a friend would benefit from this topic, please share this with them as it might be the very video they need to see to lead them to a healthy and loving relationship. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it the thumbs up. Also, if you haven't yet or you're new, please do subscribe to this channel as this will allow me to keep creating these videos for you. Just hit the subscribe button below this video and that bell button to get notified of our new videos every week. It's been an absolute pleasure to have you here with me. I encourage you to choose to love a little more every day in some special way and see you again at my next video.